One could argue and say that Final Cut Pro hasn't had the same amount of features that Premiere or Resolve have, especially when it comes to AI, but things do change now with Final Cut Pro 11. We now have AI magnetic masking, which is absolutely phenomenal. It is so easy to use, and it's one of the highlights out of Final Cut Pro 11, in my personal opinion. We do get captions now that are native to Final Cut Pro, but it's version one, it's quite limited, and we have new effects and new transitions, which are really cool. I wanna show you magnetic masking because I think you're gonna really like how this is implemented. It is so easy, so intuitive. AI, baby, it's all about AI. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at this right now. Let's get into magnetic masking because here we go. This is one of my favorite features. And it's always intimidated me when it comes to masking and rotoscoping and keyframing. When it comes to video, this makes it so much better. So we're now gonna go select the, the clip that I wanna play with, go to the magic wand again, add magnetic mask. Nothing's done yet. As you move the cursor over to the window, you see this eyedropper with a plus sign. Select, it does a pretty good job, right? Not 100% there, but we can keep clicking till we get everything we want highlighted in red because we want to keep that you know separate from the background because we want to adjust the exposure on the background with this, okay? But let's say it's not 100% perfect and you're seeing it's a little bit off there. We can just zoom in a bit here, bring this down. Let's say I just want to get this portion out. Ah, pretty good, right? But this area here needs to be darkened a little bit more. I can manually override that and I can actually just paint this in very similar to what we do in Photoshop or Lightroom when we're going to masking. You can now do that in Final Cut. Does a pretty good job. Hit this select the minus here. Let's see if this does a decent job. Not too bad. We're gonna zoom out, fit. Ah, this area here again. Okay, here we go, much, much better. When we're ready to go, hit analyze. It will analyze the entire scene and they'll keep the mask around me the entire scene, which is fantastic. And when we're done, you hit done here, I'm now masked out. However, this little halo around me, we can adjust that through feathering. Just bring that down to where it's almost exact around me. We're happy with that, good. Now I'm wanting to work on the background, not just on me. So what I wanna do is duplicate this layer. So I uh, select option on the keyboard, click, and just drag down and now I have a duplicate layer underneath it. Now with this uh, secondary layer here, as it's highlighted, remove the mas masking because I don't need it, but I can go into the color correction and I can adjust this accordingly. So let's say I wanna add a bit of contrast here, bring down the brightness slightly, bring down the highlights a bit in the background. Let's say black point, add a bit of color, warmth. Okay, much better. Let's say I wanna adjust myself a little bit more because I've done that to the background. I can do that now. Just click on that, that uh, the first clip here, add a little bit of contrast a bit of saturation, a bit of warmth. We want to bring down the black point just a bit. And now we have a much more balanced color corrected scene versus before. Now, if I want to add text, let's say title behind me. Now that I have a mask, it is so easy to do. Just go into my titles. Let's uh, take this uh, Black Bull title I downloaded from Envato Elements. And now it is between these two layers. And as you see, it's right behind me. Very simple. If I want to make it a little bit larger, I can. I want to move it up and down. Behind me, I can do that as well. And now we have a title. Again, you can adjust it as you want, but just gives you an idea how it is for the review. But that's not the only thing that masks do. Let's go into effects. Let's go to comic look. You can take any color, any look, any effect, and you can drag it over a subject. Case in point, dragged it over there, dropped it, did a pretty decent job as you saw. Again, we can adjust a couple of things. Not 100% there, play around this. Okay, if I wanna just manually adjust this mask here, I can do that there on the arm to make sure that it's as I want it to be. So see how easy it is to adjust these masks? I mean, this is so simple, analyze this, and when I click on done, I'm now a comic book character and you can adjust that further if you wanna do that. Now captions again, version one. There's not many things you can do with it, but we have them now natively inside Final Cut Pro. So here's the clip that has some dialogue here. I select that, select the magic wand, transcribe to captions. It's pretty fast, pretty intuitive. Now, if you wanna edit any of the captions, double click, you can edit right here below the caption or through this pop-up window, or you go to the inspector, you can edit there. Now, in terms of stylizing these captions, you're very limited. You cannot get rid of the black bar behind the text. You can bold it, italicize it, underline it, change the color, but that's pretty much it. You can move it up and down, but yeah, 
you are very limited. So if you wanted to do titles, you wanted to do something very interesting, yeah, you're gonna have to use a third-party plugin or use another software out there. But Apple hopefully does update this and I'm sure they will to give us more creativity with our subtitles because that's something that we all like to do out there. Let's move on to another effect here in terms of reframe. These are two new effects, call out and picture in picture. This makes things so much easier. So I'm gonna take the call out here I'm gonna drag it onto this clip. Now you see this target area here. What I wanna do is I'm actually going to, I wanna you know, focus on this camera lens here. I wanna make it bigger, zoom in more, I can do that. Now I can move this box around anywhere in the frame I want it to be. I can resize it, I can make it more horizontal. And if I don't want that blur, blurry gray background, just uh, take color mix, drop that down, bring down the blur, or I can keep it just a tad bit, right? I've now got a close-up of me using the lens that I'm talking about. If I, wanted, if I want to accentuate that even more, I can give it a little bit of an outline, add a bit of color, a bit of width there. Play around with the colors and the look of it. I can make it rounder if I want to do that. All that is there. Something that would take a lot of time before now takes maybe a minute or two once you fine tune it and there you have it. Now let's just show you another of here that's in the transitions, which I actually like and it's side-by-side -side split. I do this a lot for photo comparisons and my videos. All right, so go back into my media gallery, take this background here, put it on top, take these two images. Now I take this side-by-side -side split and I drop it in between. And you can actually expand this out as far as it goes. So now as we go from the comic book, we see two images there. You see that gray bar there? Don't worry about it. That line amount, drop it to zero. It's gone. And now I have two images side by side for comparison and it's done within seconds. Very, very cool feature. Absolutely love that. Now, one more th feature I wanna talk about is hiding clips. So I've synced this audio in this video to create this synchronized clip. I don't know, I no longer need these, but they're in my media bay. They're taking up space. So I'll just take this audio file here that I no longer need. Right click, hide clip. This video file here, right click, hide clip no longer here. Now it's not deleted. I can actually go back here and did this uh, icon show hidden clips and they're back there if I want to see them again. That just makes things so much easier and so much cleaner. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Final Cut Pro 11. Again, there's so many new features inside of it, but these are some of the top features that I think are worth investigating, especially magnetic masking, which I absolutely love. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Which was your favorite feature in Final Cut Pro 11 thus far? Are you Resolve, uh, Premiere person? Does this make you want to try Final Cut Pro again? Let me know in the comments section below. Like always, follow, like, subscribe, share with your friends, your family. Thank you guys for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Take care and we'll chat soon.